Okay, hello everybody. We're going to talk about the uh, for statement in C++. And I was trying to think about something fun to do with the for statement, because all it does is loops. It goes around. So um, I thought about creating a multiplication table, um, so it kind of gives a, a cool effect. So here's the application. Uh, this program will create a multiplication table uh, of your choice using the for statement. And this is how you use the for statement. You put the word, the keyword for, open parenthesis, you're going to initialize your variable, usually, you know, equals to 1 or whatever, true, false, 0, 1. So, initialization. We're going to create an expression, and that's what the for statement is going to check every time it goes in the loop. If that is true, then it's going to increment the variable, and it's going to go through the, um, through the loop. Otherwise, if it's false, it's just going to quit. And so, uh, here's the expression. It goes, it's the second part of it, and then it goes into the increment. And then after that, we're going to open brackets, and then we're going to create this uh, statement sequence, and then, you know, colon and close the statement sequence. So, uh, include the library, uh, IO stream. We're going to use, uh, be using namespace standard. And let's start. So, integer main open brackets. And so we're creating a multiplication table, So and we're going to ask the user to input which multiplication table they want to see. So let's create two uh, variables here, x and y. And let's display display a message to the user. See out. Um, I want uh, to see the multi multiplication table for whatever whatever they want to see. Um, and then we're gonna end line here. And let's capture that input, and that's going to be our um, x variable. Okay. And now here is where we're going to start our uh, uh, for loop statement. So for open parenthesis, the variable that we're going to use is the y variable. So y equals zero. So let's start with zero. Okay. Because we, we want to go. Let's do from zero to ten. Okay. So y equals zero, and then we're going to say this is my colon here, not comma. Let's say that. While, let's do this, while x, while y is less or equal to 10, okay? And then we're going to increment this variable by uh, 1, and we can do that by using this uh, y plus plus, or actually plus plus y, which is the same thing as, which is the same thing as y equals y plus 1. If that makes any sense. But we'll talk about that later on. But if you just want to increment a variable by 1, that's how you do it. Um, let's open parentheses here. And then let's display a message. See how we're going to display so y, which is going to be 0 for the first time. And then we're going to put times, so space, x, this x right here is just a string. It's not the same as our variable. Let's keep that clear. This is just a string. It's just a message to be displayed on the screen. And then times now our variable x. Then we're going to say space equals, let's just put the equal sign, equals space. And now the result. The result that we want is y times x, and then we are going to um, break a line here, and finish the statement, do that, return 0, close it. So hopefully that's right, we're going to compile and see if we have any errors, but let's take a look at it again. So here's the 4. We're going to initialize our variable, so y equals 0 right at the beginning. And we're going to do this, we're going to do this until uh, y equals 10. Okay? So while, while y is less or equal to 10, we're going to do the loop. So let's go ahead and run this. So save, um, control F, S. Let's go into the my C window here. Okay, and that happens. There we go. Let's compile that. BCC 
32s.cpp and I type end line incorrectly, so here we go, end line, control fx one more time, let's go back into here, this is 32 test.cpp, there you go, compile correctly, so let's run test now. And so it says, I want to see the multiplication table for, let's try 2 and press enter, and there you go, there's our multiplication table, 0 times 2 equals 0, 1 times 2 equals 2, 2 times 2 equals 4, and so on, all the way to 10. Let's try that again. So test. And let's say I want to do the multiplication table for 12. And there you go. 12 times 0 is 12. And 12 times 0 is 0. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24 and so on. So kind of a, a cool little thing that the for loop does. And uh, hopefully, you know, you can have a better grasp of how, you know, what happens on the for loop. And uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching.